If you want to reflash or update your firmware, um, I was having issues. First issue I've had with my Pixhawk, but I had to reflash everything. And what you need to do, go into Mission Planner, but the USB uh, to your computer, and go up here to the top, install firmware. And what you need to do, and pick, this is what you want to pick, either the rover or the plane. Something that, I'm, I'm doing the, the hex, I'm flying hex. But you want to download onto your Pixhawk something that is not your craft. So I chose the plane. And this will overwrite the current software that is written into the Pixhawk. So once you upload this, you'll get a green status bar. At the end of the status bar, you're going to get a series of musical tones. Let the tones play out. And then at the very end, when you know it's complete, it's going to be about three beeps. Hit OK. That means everything was transferred to the Pixhawk. Once you have done that, then go back and choose whatever craft you're flying. In my case, it's this one here. And you're going to download this one, which is going to override the plane that you just downloaded, plane software. And if you're successful, you'll get the musical tone, series of tones with the three beeps at the end. Hit OK. That means that this file is now transferred to your Pixhawk. I was having issues. I just tried it. And this first issues I've had with Pixhawk. But uh, now everything's good. Once you're downloaded that, uh, steps. Compass, calibration, radio calibration. Uh, I didn't do flight modes yet. Uh, I did do fail safe. But these two are important. Compass and uh, actually the acceleration also is going to be... Uh, another one. Let me plug uh, my Pixhawk in so you can see the available. And I'm running Mission Planner 1.3.16. See at the very top? Okay, so now going to flight data. Let me just close out of that window. Back to initial setup. All right. Okay, and let's uh, connect top right corner. Mavlink will connect. That's done. All right, now we go to initial setup. You go to mandatory hardware. And here's your different options here to allow you to do the... Uh, and the newer version of Mission Planner will give you two... Two compass calibrations. If you have just one, you're using the old version. If you have two, like here, uh, you have the new version, and this is much easier to calibrate. Most of the time, it does it on its own, but I just wanted to show you that. Yeah. Um, I'm going to disconnect. I don't want to fuck anything up that I've already done. So I just want to get out of here. Close that. Okay. Go to flight data and connect. Uh, connect the Pixhawk again. And there's my house. If you ever want to come visit, right on this main highway. All right, let's see. Now we need to, to test. Make sure your reset button is steady red. That'll tell you you're ready to go. And